repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. Dear God, guided by the light of the star, the Magi traveled to Bethlehem to see Jesus. Help us to be like the Magi, to trust in you and to follow your light. God of light, thank you for helping me stay safe. Please help us to be nice to each other. God of love, thank you for my family. Help us to stay safe and healthy during these times. God of hope, thank you for shelter and warmth. Help me remember and help those who are less fortunate. God of all, thank you for letting us be in this world. Help us to follow Jesus' example. As we journey through our days, may we always be givers of light to the world. Amen. Hello everyone. Happy Epiphany and welcome to our children's ministry time today. The season of watching and waiting is over. The people who walked in the darkness have seen great light with the birth of the baby Jesus. And today we celebrate the wise men who brought gifts to that baby. I'm going to use this lantern as our light today. We can use any light to bring the memory of Christ's love into our space. So this one is one of those safe candles. You actually turn it on just like that. This is the light of the world. May we journey every day to find babies in mangers and love and peace and joy in the gifts that God has given us. The time after Christmas is called Epiphany. It's also the story of the wise men. And that story is told in The Secret of the Star, the book we're going to read today. Once in a far off eastern land on a night so long ago, a wise old man named Melchior was pacing to and fro. Now Melchior was a magi priest who knew each star by sight. At least I did, he told himself, until this star tonight burst in the skies to dazzle my eyes and make me wonder why. One strange new star outshines by far all others in the sky. But he didn't know, and so, oh ho, yes, that's the thing I'll do. I'll send for Caspar and Balthazar. Perhaps, perhaps they knew. He clapped his hands and gave commands and sending for them to come. With three wise men, perhaps, why not? Aren't three heads wiser than one? From the frost-painted north where the winter winds danced, golden-haired Caspar came riding. From the sun-blistered south where the summer breeze pranced, came black-bearded Balthazar, striding. You see that star, said Melchior? Now why is it so bright? Perhaps it means, young Caspar said, that somewhere on this night, some great, great thing has come to pass. Of course, <laughs> that's it, you're right. Yes, yes, of course, they said at once. But now just what great thing? A battle, a war, a fire, a flood, a poet, a prince, a king. A king, a king, they shouted in glee. A king is born tonight. That's why this star shines from afar, filling the earth with light. I, I think I read, said Balthazar, in some old must, musty book, about a star to beckon from afar. To work, to work, let's look. They read and read and read some more until old Melchior spied an ancient, holy Jewish scroll. That's it, that's it, he cried. See, read, it says a star will come from Jacob, which means the Jews. Their king will rule the world in peace. This star brought us the news. Quick, get a map, we'll have to go, and gifts too we must bring. God sent this star, we'll follow it. 
and worship this great king. Load up the camels, old Melchior cried. This trip will take us far. The camels were packed and they set out, led on by one great star. For days and days and weeks and weeks, through heat and wind and sand, the star led on until at last they reached the Holy Land. Jerusalem, cried Melchior, we're there beyond a doubt. The star, it moves no more. So now let's find the newborn king, let's go and search him out. We'll ask from door to door. A king? A star? No, I've not heard. A king's been born, you say? A prince of peace? Oh, don't be absurd. You're mad. Please go away. But old King Herod on his throne soon heard of everything. He sent his guards to bring them in. I'll show them who's the king. For in his heart, the mighty king was full of hate and fear. Another king? This can't be true. I'll have no rivals here. I hear you've come to see the king. Well, look, for here I stand. But Melchior just shook his head. But don't you understand? We seek a prince of peace and love, a savior of the land. They left the king and searched some more till Bethlehem they found. He's here, he's here, old Melchior cried. The star shines all around. They found the house where Jesus was and knew at once that he was God's own Prince of Peace, the one they'd come so far to see. They gave their gifts of frankincense, of mirth and gold, and then knelt down in awe to praise the Lord for his great gift to men. God sent the star, said Melchior, to lead us to the Lord. We'll take the good news back with us. We'll spread the joyous word. Then silently with singing hearts and wondrous news to bear, they journeyed to their own homelands to tell the people there about the Prince of Peace God sent to save men everywhere. Thanks for sharing the secret of the star with me. Happy Epiphany. Well, welcome to Craft Time. I'm so glad that you can join us at our Sunday School Craft Time again. This is my helper today, Willow. She's one of my pups. She's gonna help us with our craft. Today we have a very exciting craft. So Christmas is just finished, and we've had Christmas and New Year's, and on the church calendar, there's another big day that comes right after Christmas. Do you know what that is? It's called Epiphany. Now, Epiphany is a big word, um, but it celebrates the wise men Remember the wise men who brought gifts to Jesus? It celebrates the wise men who followed the Bethlehem star all the way from a faraway place, probably somewhere near Iran, present-day Iran, and followed that star all the way to Israel so that they could pay tribute to the new king that the star was announcing. What do you think of that, Willow? It's a pretty good story, isn't it? Yeah. And so today we're going to make a Bethlehem star in our craft time. And so I'm very excited about this. What you'll need for this is some tissue paper. It could be brand new piece of tissue paper or some used tissue paper. You'll need scissors or a knife. And following that up, if you're using scissors and a knife, remember you should always have an adult to help you. So you'll need tissue paper, scissors, a knife, adult, and some glue. So you gather those things and I will meet you over at the craft table for our craft today as we make a Bethlehem star that we can then hang in the window or on your Christmas tree, even if you still have your Christmas tree up. I'll see you at the craft table. Well, welcome to the craft table. And we're gonna make our Bethlehem star craft today. And as you can see from our list, I have my tissue paper. Now you don't have to use yellow if you don't want to, you can use any color. I just chose yellow because I like yellow and it's a nice color to have in a kind of cold winter day. Uh, you have your glue stick. Or glue you can use white glue or other glue but I find the glue stick is easiest to work with uh, you have your scissors so you're gonna need an adult your mom or your dad or aunt or uncle or grandpa or grandma or um, babysitter any any adult can help 
and a knife. I chose to use a knife to cut the tissue paper because I'm not very good with scissors and I find this a little easier. So I'm just gonna clear these off and we'll get started. The first bit of our time is gonna be spent folding. So we have to make our little pieces. We're gonna make eight pieces out of this piece of tissue paper. Now tissue paper can be finicky to work with. Okay. It likes to do its own thing. So you have to be really careful that your folds are done in such a way. And always, when you're lining it up, try to go from the inside to the out to make sure that that fold is in the right place. That way, you don't lose your overlap and everything stays in the right place. So you see, we've got our first fold done. So this first fold gives us two pieces. And I'm gonna take my knife to cut this, but remember, you can take your scissors if you're a better cutter than I am, or and get your adult to help you if you're gonna use either of these, because they're both very sharp. This is a very sharp knife, so uh, we're gonna just cut that. And you see how it just kinda cuts through that seam, our fold. And that's gonna give us a nice seam for our first one. So that's our first fold. And then we cut, turn it in half again, fold it in half one more time. And you see how it tried to sneak out there. The overlap kind of disappeared as we want to make sure that we line those up because we want to make sure that all of our pieces are the same size. So it's easiest if you just can keep one hand on there while you fold this over and that will help you. So you see I've got them lined up now. Well, I had them lined up. This will be the hardest part. You see how they just kind of settle down though. And there, our second fold is coming together. There we go. And you want to make sure you get a nice crease in there once it's over. Then you'll take your scissors or your knife. And you'll get that second cut. So we'll just down the seam of that second cut. Oop, that's okay, I can fold that in later. If that happens to you, don't worry because that's at a place where it folds in and it won't affect the quality of your craft. So that now gives four pieces. And then we get our last fold that'll give us all eight rectangular pieces. See, we have a nice rectangle shaping up and we want all eight of those to be roughly the same size, as close as we can. So here's our last cut and we want to make sure that we get it right in the middle. So if you've missed a spot or you're unsure, you can just count. Because remember we have four on each, one, two, three, four, and there's the middle. So we can cut like that, or you can start at the other end. And there's our last cut. It's not always a good idea to cut towards yourself, so don't do it that way if you can avoid it. And there's our eight pieces of paper. So you see we have eight rectangles now. And we'll start the next bit, which is folding these into our star shapes. And then we'll start putting our Bethlehem star together. And you can hang this in the window, or if you still have your Christmas tree up, you can hang it in your Christmas tree afterwards. I can show you how to do that. So it's always easiest. You see sometimes the tissue paper already has a fold in it. We want to make sure that we go with the fold. We're going to do our first fold and we're folding it in half. And we want to make sure that it's exactly in half. We'll get that first fold. So now that we have our tissue paper in half, we'll open it up again. And you're just going to fold the ends down on all four corners, all four ends into the middle. Kind of like making a paper airplane if you've ever made a paper airplane. And there's our second one coming. See how they meet up in the middle? There we go. And then our third one. Here we are. So we're gonna have six folds per piece of per rectangle. So these are the first four folds. There you go. So you should have all the corners folded in like this. You can see I've got all four folded in. So there's our first four. And then the last two 
are going to be another fold and so you're going to half this distance so you see how we have this fold kind of coming in you're going to do the same thing so it lines up in the middle you know, got it there and you'll fold it down that center line all the way to the bottom and there we go so it's a skinny fold now and we just have to make two of these because these will be kind of with the top of the star when we're all done here we are so there's our first one so you see I got two skinny folds two big folds and then two skinny folds at the top and then two big folds at the bottom so I'll just put this over here and we'll do one more I've pre-cut a whole bunch just to save time but I'll fold one more just in case you want to see it done one more time and then we'll go to our gluing which will be fun and our star of Bethlehem will start to take shape and that will be very very fun our paper seems to want to stick together here tissue paper is wonderful because it's really easy to use in one standpoint because it's so thin but that thinness can make it kind of finicky sometimes and likes to have a mind of its own you can do it with used tissue paper too it's a little bit more difficult but if you have some left over from christmas you can certainly use that um, i chose a new piece just because i wanted to make it easy to demonstrate all the folds and a new piece when it hasn't been used to wrap a, a present or something and doesn't have all the wrinkles in it is a little bit easier to use but you could definitely recycle some tissue paper if you wanted to use it again it's always a good thing to recycle if we can okay so there's our four folds remember we have our two skinny folds now on the one end so here's our first skinny fold and our second skinny fold you can pause the video after I do this second skinny fold and finish your folds and then start the video oops and then start the video again once you have all your folds done and we'll come back for the gluing so I'll let you pause it now if you want to pause that video and then when we restart we'll start the gluing okay like I said I have some already folded so I'll just get those out and you're gonna need eight in total so remember we had our eight cuts and your eight cuts are gonna be eight folds and what we're gonna do then is you're gonna take our glue stitch or our glue whatever you choose white glue or a glue stick or I find the glue stick to be a little easier to use and you're just gonna apply it to that portion right there I've stuck two together already to get us started and you'll take your next piece and you're gonna line it up so that the bottom of this one matches up on the bottom edge of the other one and you'll just put that down you see starting to take shape it looks a little bit like a crab now doesn't it that's interesting so we'll take our glue stick again and we're going to apply it to this piece on the outside of our last piece that we put down and then again we're going to put this bottom onto here close to the center all about centers with this craft got a lot of centers to put it in on and there's our other one so again we'll apply the glue to the outside edge got to be really careful when applying your glue because tissue paper is really thin and so it rips very easy so always try to give your paper a little bit of support with your finger but don't put your finger in the glue like I just did and again to our bottom of this one and our center line on each of the pieces of paper there we go and our glue we have three more left coming together nicely now and then our center line oops Kind of floated off the center line there. 
All right, two more. Oops. There's our glue, our second last one. Just find that center line. It gets a little more difficult to find that center line when it gets all full like this. And you see it's almost ready. We're just missing one more. Now for this last one, we're going to put a little bit of glue on both sides so that we can have this last one kind of come with the point right down the middle and that it's glued on both sides. So we just glue it on one side, we'll have a loose part. And we don't want that. So there's glue on one of the corners of the triangles, and then a little glue on the top part, a little glue on the top part. And we take our center one, and we just back that in so that the point is right in the center there. And we press that down, and there is our star. You see it's all finished doesn't take long for the glue to dry, which is really good. Now, if you want to put it in a window, that's really easy to do. You just hang it up. I would put it so that the folds, all the folds that are open here, are facing the window, and then you can just put a little tape on the top. If you want to hang it on your Christmas tree, you can do that too. What you need is a paper clip and a little bit of thread or string, and then you can hang it on your Christmas tree. But I, th I think these are always nicer in the window. They give a little color on a kind of gray winter day, which is always nice. And there is your Bethlehem Christmas star. Thanks for hanging out with me today.